What's up everyone? Today I want to talk about a popular online platform to make money working from home called We Localize. So is this platform actually worth it? How much money can you make? And what are some pros, cons, and some tips that you should know if you're thinking about applying to We Localize? So those are the questions that I'll be covering today. So let's not waste any more time and let's go. Now, as always, I want to get to the point and say that from my perspective as a side hustler myself, We Localize is definitely worth it to check out if you are looking to make money online, work from home, have a flexible schedule, and find a remote job that does not require experience or degree. Now, I'm going to share more about why We Localize might be worth checking out, but I also want to mention that if you are only looking to make money online or work from home, then I also want to share other tools and sites to help you reach your goals, which is why I've been letting people know about FlexJobs. So FlexJobs is a site dedicated to only flexible, fully remote, or hybrid jobs and side gigs. As you can see here, FlexJobs actually has more information about We Localize. So this is one of the things that they do is they actually give you more in-depth information about these different companies that are hiring for remote jobs. Now FlexJobs is subscription based, but you can sign up for only a week to see if it's worth it. And the link in the description also gives you a discount. Now, of course, like everyone who shares a link on YouTube, this is a referral link, but I try to mention tools that are actually relevant to you. And my hope is that this can be a win-win. You find that dream work from home job and support this channel at the same time. So check it out if other job sites are not working out. Now let's dive back into learning more about We Localize. And if you have experience with We Localize, then head over to the comment section and share your thoughts with the rest of the community. So I do want to take a moment and talk about the pay rate for some of these jobs. Now, this is actually one of the jobs that we'll be looking at a little bit later, but I want to show you that they say for this particular job that there's a pay rate of $15 an hour and they ask if you will accept this rate. Now, of course, different jobs are going to have different pay rates, but I just wanted to just briefly go over that as well. Now, from what I've seen from my research, this amount is typically what most people will earn. And again, some projects may earn more, some projects may earn less. So it's just going to vary. So really quickly, let's just talk about what is We Localize. So they are a global translation and localization company. They help brands capture business worldwide by reaching, engaging, and growing their international audience through multilingual content and data transformation. They were founded in 1997 and they are a global company with offices in the US, Europe, and Asia. Now, with that out of the way, let me show you how you can find the work from home jobs with this website. So first, you're just going to go to their website, welocalize.com, and then you're going to go all the way to the bottom and then you're going to click careers. And then that'll bring you to their career page. And then you can also click explore. We localize careers. Now, once you're on their careers page, you're going to see a lot of information about some opportunities that they have for people who are full time employees. But as you scroll down, you'll get to the section where it talks about freelance opportunities, which you'll find right here. So they say that you can join their freelancer community. And what else that they mention is that they recognize the value of freelance talent and they're proud to have established a global growing community of remote working freelancers. So once you're here, you're just going to go ahead and hit freelance projects. And that's going to take you to this page here where you can see some of the jobs that they have that you could do from home. And that also brings up one of the reasons why I think this is a platform that's worth it to check out is just the large volume of jobs that they have. So you can filter these jobs, but as you can see here, there are a bunch of different jobs from all over the world, from Argentina, Mexico, Spain, Thailand, the US, Germany, the UK, and so on and so forth. They have so many different jobs, uh, anything from an SEO specialist to some of the jobs that we saw before, like a quality, quality coordinator or a quality rater. So we're not gonna have the time to go through every single job that they have here, um, but I do wanna take a moment and look at one of the job descriptions for at least one of these jobs. So let's take a look at this scout search quality rater uh, for the US. So once you open up this job for the scout search quality rater, they'll just give you some general background information. It says that they're seeking English speakers to help support their client's project as a search quality rater. 
And in this position, you will use your unique gifts of understanding people's intentions to improve the online search engine experience. And the main goal for this project is to develop and augment AI data. To put it more plainly, you provide subjective and objective ratings based on project rules and conventions. Now, this is going to be very similar if you've worked on TELUS International or you've worked on APEN before. Now, for this one, you will complete tasks in American English. And they say in this position, you will be able to set your own schedule to accomplish the weekly goals. However, you'll be able to receive support from project management team during business hours, Monday through Friday, nine to five. To just get some more details too, they say that this is remote, it's US based, and you can work a minimum of 10 hours per week, up to 29 hours per week. And of course you can set your own schedule. And what's also great is that this is actually a W-2 part-time employee and you get paid every two weeks. And they also tell you that this is a 12-month project with a possibility of an extension. Now, something that's worth noting is that they say this work is based on project needs and weekly hours may vary. And they actually even have some benefits here. So they give you paid sick time, employee assistance, and depending on your eligibility, you may also be able to get some of these insurance benefits and things like that. And then finally, they give you some requirements here, and this will give us a chance to talk about some of the things that you should know about these types of jobs. So for this particular one, you'll need to be fluent in English. You'll need to have a strong understanding of pop culture in the US. And this is really important. They say you must be dedicated only to search quality rating program and not other search or ads rating programs. So that's very important to know that you're gonna to wanna to be doing this particular program and not other ad rating programs. They also say that you must not have current or previous experience with ads quality rating. Now, I wanna take a moment to just talk about this for a little bit. Now, this is gonna be really important for you to know because if you have had ads quality rating, you may not be eligible for this job. With that said, I also wanna mention that it's not very clear how they would even find out if you've done ad quality rating before. And of course, I would never encourage someone not to be truthful. That's completely up to you how you would want to answer this question, but there isn't really a way for them to know that you haven't done ad quality work. So just something to keep in mind. And they say you must be web savvy and you need to have excellent online research skills, a reliable computer system and internet connection, of course, a good antivirus, and the ability to follow instructions in English, and you must sign a non-disclosure agreement to protect the client confidentiality. And that's usually because they're working with clients like Google or Apple or Facebook, and so many times you can't really share uh, the information that you're exposed to in these types of jobs. And then lastly, and a really important point is they say that you must pass learning modules and a required quality test designed by the client before starting work. So now let's take a look at what it would look like if you were to apply for this job. So of course you're gonna come up here and hit apply for this job. So that'll bring you to this page here for the application. And we'll go over this really briefly and give you some information that you should know. So first is that you will obviously attach a resume, full name, email, phone number. So just those basic information. Also a LinkedIn if you have one as well. Then they ask you if you'll be able to work 10 hours per week on this project. Now they also say that you will be provided with practice simulation material and instructions that will prepare you to take the final exam. And both steps are on your own time. And that you'll need to successfully pass all the sections of the exams qualified. Now I do wanna take a moment and talk about the exams. From some of the research that I've done on this website, exams are gonna be common for most of their jobs. And this is gonna be on your own time. So normally for myself, I try to avoid exams as much as I can but there are gonna be some times and some platforms where you may not be always able to avoid them. So definitely make sure to keep in mind if you're willing to take the time to take the exam for these types of jobs. And then the rest of the questions that they ask you are pretty straightforward, like what country are you in, how long you've lived there, and what state are you in if you're in the US, do you have a smartphone? And then this one again is really important is, are you currently working as a search quality rater, internet assessor, or search evaluator? Um, and again, that's up to you how you answer that question as well. So very straightforward, very basic questions. So all you gotta do is apply and then wait to hear back from them. So I also wanted to mention that I did look at some of the reviews for this website 
especially the reviews from people who have actually been a freelancer with we localize and some of the reviews that i found were both positive and also some that were not so positive as well which is going to be common with most platforms so for example one person said that you can work 10 to 15 hours a week you can make your own schedule 24 7 and it's 15 dollars an hour and they also said that it's boring work but it's not too bad of a gig this is pretty consistent with most of the reviews that i saw about this platform people do confirm that it is actually legitimate they are actually making money with this platform but the work is not exciting and it may be boring or repetitive so something to keep in mind as well so I hope that you found this content helpful and definitely stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in more ways to make money working from home and make sure to like, subscribe and check out the links in the descriptions for the ways that you can support this channel and I'll catch you on the next video.